Okay, everybody, um, welcome to the TopCon uh, instrument. We're going to have uh, Phoebe is going to walk us through how to perform a distance refraction sequence on the TopCon. Um, she's going to fo mainly focus not so much on the procedure itself, but on how to navigate through the instrument panel so that when you're performing your distance refraction, you can be more efficient than I am when I'm doing it. So uh, with that, Phoebe's going to take over. She's already done my retinoscopy, and so she's going to begin the whole sequence after retinoscopy, starting with the 2040 blur and moving forward. So Phoebe? All right, so as Dr. Hefner said, we just finished his retinoscopy, so we are going to do the 2040 blur. I went ahead and I clicked on this button right here to get the 2040 line, and then if you click this arrow here, it isolates that line um, to do the 2040 blur. And I'm going to be covering his left eye, and I will be changing the sphere um, for both of his eyes when I do his right eye, um, 2040 blur, but we're going to still double check his left eye once we're done with his right eye. Um, so Dr. Hefner, can you see the line out there? Yeah. Yes, ma'am. Perfect. I'm going to go ahead and add some lenses in front of your eyes. Go ahead and tell me when you cannot make out any of those letters, okay? Yes, ma'am. No, no letters. Okay. And really blurry here? Yes, ma'am. Can't okay. see any. And then I'm going to click here, so we're just isolating his right eye here. I'm going to go ahead and add more lenses. Tell me when you can just make out one or two of those letters. Yes, ma'am. Two letters there. And what letters can you see? F and Z. Okay. And now we're going to go ahead and move on to his left eye. This eye will be blurred for him, but we're just going to double check that he is properly um, blurred to the 2040 line. And can you make out any of those letters there? No, ma'am. Okay. I'm just going to add a little more plus here. Tell me when you can see one or two of those letters, okay? Yes, ma'am. Uh, Yes, ma'am. Two. F and Z again. Okay, good. And then from here, we are going to move on to the bichrome. And for that, we would usually use a 2080 line, but I think the top con here only goes up to 2070. So we're going to hit isolate the 2070 line, and then you hit this button right here to make it red-green. And for the bichrome, we're going to be turning off the lights. Perfect. All right, so I'm going to be starting with his left eye, and I'm going to be asking him. So, um, do you see those letters out there? The yes, ma'am. Okay. And if you were to choose the left or the red side or the green side, which one seems clear? The red side. Okay. Tell me, um, what about here? Red side. Red side. Red. Red. Equal. Equal. Uh, green there. Perfect. All right. And so we will leave him on green. And then we are going to go ahead and do the right eye now. And looking out at that screen, which side is clear, the red or the green? The red. The red. And here? Red. 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 Green. Green? Okay. So we're going to leave it on the green here. And now we're going to move on to, um, we would actually take VAs here, um, but in this case, uh, we're going to move on to the JCC, but just remember in procedures, you would take VA. Um, now I'm going to be putting up the 2040 line, so you just hit this button here, and it should be back to the black and white screen. Yes, ma'am. Isolate the 2040 line. And so to bring up the present on the top gun, you're going to hit either the H or the V, um, standing for horizontal and vertical. So, JCC? wait, JCC? JCC? Dang it. Okay. Okay. So now we're going to move on to the JCC. Um, to move, to check, oh, yeah. <laughs> to do the JCC, you're actually going to hit um, either one or two here. And it'll bring up this screen, and you're going to hit Jackson CC. Perfect. Um, and then now um, we have the 2040 line up for. Dr. Hefner, and we are going to check the power first. So we're going to do a power check. Um, since he did, we did not find any sill on his retinoscopy. Um, so we're going to start at 180, which it's at right now, and I'm going to be clicking in minus 0.25. And then I'm going to give you two options, Dr. Hefner, one or two. Tell me which one makes those letters in front of you better to look at. So this is one, and this is two. One, please. One. Perfect. So that means he accepted the sill. 
Um, so we would click in one more, and what's nice about the automatics is that they, au they automatically um, adjust for the spherical equivalent, as you saw here. <laughs> and now we're going to move on to the axis. Um, so I'm going to give you two options, one or two. You would go up higher on the cylinder. On the cylinder? Mm -hmm. Oh, we we'll just do it again? Yeah. Okay. So you keep the one until I reject it. Until you reject it? Okay. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to give you another option, one or two, and which one makes it better? Here's one, and here is two. Again, please? Yeah. Here is one, and here is two. 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 Perfect. So he um, rejected the cylinder for this part, so we're going to move on to the axis here. And I'm going to give you two options, one or two. Go ahead and tell me which one makes those letters better to look at. Here is one, and here is two. Two. Two? Yes, ma'am. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and change that here, 15 degrees. And do you like one or two? One, please. One right here? Yes, ma'am. All right, and we're going to go back 10 degrees. And now, do you prefer one or two? Uh, one. This one right here? Yes, ma'am. All right. And then to, um, we're going to go back five degrees, and then one or two? Uh, two, barely. Two, barely. OK. So um, as you saw earlier, this the axis was changing by five degree steps. To change it to one degree steps, you're going to click this button here, and it changed to a one. So we're going to move that three degrees, and then final one, one or two. You do it again. Here's one, and here is two. 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 And go here. Perfect. And now we're going to go back to the power of his right eye. So same thing here is one or two better. Two. Two. And how about one or two? Exactly the same. Exactly the same? Okay. So now we're going to move on to your left eye. Okay. Perfect. And so automatically occluded the right eye and opened up the left eye there. So same thing. So since he didn't have any cell, as we found on retinoscopy, we just clicked in uh, minus 0.25, and we're going to do JCC here. Here is one or two. One, one please. This one right here? Yes, ma'am. All right, so he accepted that cell here, and it automatically um, did the spherical equivalent. How about one or two? Two, please. And one or two? One. One? Yes, ma'am. All right, so we wanted to go back down for his power, so now we're going to move on to the axis here. Here is one, and here is two. Again? Yep. Here is one, and here is two. Two. Two? Yes, ma'am. All right, and then for this one, you're going to want to jump back up to five degree steps. Changing that by 15 degrees there. How about one or two? One. One right here? Yes, ma'am. All right, we're going to bracket here. Go back 10 degrees. And here's one. And here's two. 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 Mm -hmm. And we're going to change this to one degree steps. All right, and how about one or two? Uh, two. Two? Yes, ma'am. Okay. All right. Now we're going to go back to his power of the sill here. A couple more options here. Yes, ma'am. Here is one. And here is two. 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 Yes, ma'am. How about three or four? Three, please. Three? Yes, ma'am. All right. And so we're going to keep him here since he chose um, the red here. And now we are going to do a 2040 blur again. So 
Perfect. We have the 2040 lineup as we did with JCC. And this time I'm actually going to be starting with the left eye, but I am going to be changing the sphere for both eyes. So Dr. Hefner, I'm going to have you look at those letters out there. Can you see those letters? Yes, ma'am. All right. I'm going to be adding some lenses in front of your eyes. Go ahead and tell me when you cannot make out any of the letters. Yes, okay. Make it really blurry here. Yes, ma'am. Go on. Okay, go ahead and tell me and you can see one or two of those letters. Okay. Two. Two of those letters? Okay. It looks like the rat eye spirit actually didn't change, so we're gonna do that now. Go ahead and tell me when you cannot make out any of those letters in front of you. Yes, ma'am. Nothing there? Okay. And we get really blurry. Go ahead and tell me when you can see one or two of those letters. Yep. Right there? And how many letters can you see? I got two. Two? Okay. All right. From here, we are going to do the MSBVA. So we're going to find his sill here. I'm going to bring up the 2020 line. In here, this by clicking this arrow, it isolates the 2020 line. And now we're going to start with his right eye. Do you see any of those letters out there, Dr. Hefner? No, ma'am. Okay, I'm going to be adding some lenses in front of your eyes. Go ahead and tell me when you can see just one or two of those letters. Yes, ma'am. One. One? Okay. What letter can you see? T. All right, and then is one or two better? One. How about three? or four. Three. And five or six. Same, exactly. Exactly? Yep. Okay, so we're gonna leave you low here just to not over minus you. Um, now we're going to move to the left eye here. And now this letter, are those letters pretty blurry out there? Yes, ma'am. All right, go ahead and tell me when you can see one or two of those letters. Uh, I got it. I got all of them actually. All of them? Okay. Yes. And then is one or two better? One. How about three or four? Three. Three? And is three smaller and darker or is it clear? Just more clear. Just clear, okay. And we're going to stop um, with um, just minus 0.5 from the, that line because he saw all of the letters there. Okay, so now we are going to do the 2040 blur again. So click here for the 2040 line, here to isolate that line. All right, Dr. Hefner, do you see those letters out there? Yes, ma'am. Go ahead and tell me when you cannot make out any of those letters, okay? Yes, ma'am. No. Yeah, no. Nothing there? No. I'm going to blur you out a little bit more. And go ahead and tell me when you can see just one or two of those letters. Oh, oh right there? Yeah, I got one. One there? Okay. Z. Mm -hmm. Z? All right. And then we're going to go ahead and double check his right eye here. Is that pretty blurry? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Can't see any of those letters? No, ma'am. Go ahead and tell me when you can see just one or two of those letters. Yes, ma'am. Z. Is he here? Is he? Okay. Yes, All right. Now from here, since he's 2040 blurred, we are going to go ahead and jump to the distance equalization. So to do that, we're going to want to put in some prism. Um, we're going to bring up the prism by either pressing the H or the V, setting for horizontal or vertical prism. So I'm going to click H here. And for this, we're going to go want to go down to the vertical prism line by clicking here, and we're going to put in three base down for his right eye and three base up for his left eye. Okay, so I'm gonna be opening up both of your eyes here. You're gonna be seeing two lines of letters. They're both gonna be kind of blurry. Do you see two lines there? Yes. Yes? Yes. Okay, so we just wanna double check that he is seeing what we expect. So I'm gonna be go ahead and cover your right eye here. Yes, 
So you should see a top and a bottom line. When I cover your right eye, which one disappears? The top one. Okay, and then when I cover your left eye, which one disappears? The bottom one. Okay, perfect. And I know they're both equally, or they're both blurry, yes. but if you're to choose which one is less blurry or a little bit clearer, is the top or the bottom clear? The bottom is just a little bit more clear. The bottom is a little more clear? Okay, so since his, the bottom line is clear, we're gonna want to go to his left, so the bottom image corresponds to his left eye. So we're gonna add, wanna add one click of plus to his left eye there. And what about now? Is, which one? I, is, I think still bottom. Still bottom? Yep. Okay. And so now we're going to, instead of adding plus again to his left eye, we're actually gonna move on to his right eye. And a little thing with the top cloud is it likes to um, cover um, an eye when you don't expect it. So just make sure that both eyes are open. Um, so I'm gonna add a click of minus here to the right eye. And what about now? Uh, the top is more clear. The top is more clear? Okay, so that's what we want. We want to hear him say that the top is clear and the bottom is clear. Um, but since we didn't get an equal response, we're going to want to check um, what we have in our four opter right now and compare it to our previous finding to see which one is um, equally blurry for him. So <laughs> Dr. Hafner, choosing between this option here. So actually, this is option one and this is option two. Which one makes them equally blurry? Option one is more clear, more equal. This one right here? Yes, ma'am, that's more equal. Okay, so that is his equalization there. And now we are going to do the BSBDA and we're gonna wanna bring up the 2020 line here. Press this arrow again to isolate. And do you see any of those letters out there, Dr. Hafner? No, ma'am. All right, and he shouldn't be seeing any of those letters. So we can go ahead and continue with the BSBVA. Um, so is I'm going to be giving you two options. Which is better? Oh, you know what? I forgot to take out the prism. So we want to make sure you take out the prism. So let's take that out. All right, Dr. Hefner, and do you see one line of letters there? Yes, ma'am. Much better, right? Yeah, yes, <laughs> All right, so focus on that line there. Go ahead and tell me when you can see just one or two of those letters. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> uh, two letters. What are the letters there? Uh, T and a V. Okay, and then is one or two better? One. One? Yes, ma'am. How about three? or four? Three. Three? And how about five or six? Five. Five? Yes, ma'am. And is five smaller and darker or clearer? It's just more clear. More clear? Okay, yes. perfect. And then let's go ahead and check your VAs. Um, so we're first going to check his right eye here. I'm going to actually give him a full line. Let's start here. And Dr. Hefner, what is the smallest line you can read here with your right eye? OHPNT15 and then ET. E, 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 e. You see? Okay, so we got 2015 plus 2 for his right eye. And now let's move on to his left eye here. What about with this eye? What? Uh, OHPNT and then there's an E, a V, and a T. Okay, or perfect. Something VT. I think it's an EVT. Okay, perfect. So we got 2015 plus 3, and a little trick with this one is you, if you have patients that are really good at memorizing the letters, so to randomize the letters here on the top corner, you're just going to hit random, and that's how you get those random letters. And then you can click here for um, 2015, or if you need to go up to 2025. And now we're just going to check both eyes. What is the smallest line you can read here? Uh, EB. Perfect. Yes. All right, that's 2010. Oh, yeah. All right, and that would conclude the distance refraction. Great job.